Hey, Joe here. I recently decided to commit to a resistance-based workout routine. I work long hours and do some traveling, often to places with no gym chains. I figured the best plan was to work heavy at home and improvise assistance on the road. Well, shopping around on the internet, I soon saw that resistance bands are very popular. I thought a lot about it, and I started to see some potential in them. They are at least effective, affordable, portable, and most of all available. But out of the box, even the best kits have some obvious shortcomings. But I like to improvise, and I came up with an idea. Build a do-it-yourself band rack. I designed it to function like a traditional power rack. I use it to train heavy at home. So let's take a closer look. I built a really solid frame and spaced eye bolt anchors to allow for varying resistance by simply stretching the bands tighter or looser. Here's a really simple example. I put eye bolts in each end of a heavy black iron pipe. With the bar and the saddles, I used the light orange bands on each end so the bar doesn't flip out when I put the first heavy band in either end. Now I hook up the bands and try the tension. If it's too heavy, I move the band up. If it's too light, I add another band or more until I get the tension I need to hit the intensity I want. I can easily adjust the resistance by placing different bands at different anchor points. With this setup, I can go plenty heavy for me, well over 300 pounds of tension. Another attachment I built in was a deadlift anchor. I placed a heavy pipe through the base of the rack. Then I hook wide, heavy bands around it and the squat bar. Now, I pulled over 400 in my younger days, and this can go way over that. Now, I use the same method for benching as I do in the squats. Now, there's lots more I do with this rack, and I'll do more videos on this soon. I'll also show you how I use the basic band kit on the road. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned.